So in this video, I'll be talking about how to create a crescent moon in a dark black sky. So this is the effect we're trying to create. We have a yellow crescent moon that's in a pitch black sky. Now, how the heck do we do this, right? There isn't any element that is a circle by default, right? Well, what this basically is, is we are taking the body tag, we are turning the body tag completely black, and how we got this crescent yellow moon is we took a divider, we took a divider that was a rectangle by default, and we first turned it into a circle. Okay. We have a square, we turn it into a circle using border radius, and what this crescent moon is, is it is the yellow box shadow of the circle. So anyways, you'll get it better if I actually code the real example for you. So let's begin. Let's first off, just to make sure we don't forget, we set the body tags background color to black. Remember how the body tag by default, its background color is white. So we need to set it to black if you want a black pitch sky. Unless you want your crescent moon in a white sky. That looks weird. So as I noted before, the crescent moon is part of a divider. So let's set the divider. And this divider will give it a class name of moon. So right, moon. Since the only thing you want to see is the yellow box shadow, which becomes our crescent moon, we don't want to see the rest of the divider. So what we're doing is we set the divider's background color, the divider of the circle, we set the background color to the same as the body. So we set the background color here to black. So we also set the height of this divider to 400 pixels. We'll set the width to also 400 pixels since we want a circle. And let's, uh, we kind of want it sort of in the middle, so we need to use, we'll use margin left and margin top to move the divider closer to the middle. So let's set margin left to 600 pixels. And we'll set margin top to 200 pixels. And remember how we want a circle, right? Right now, our divider is a square with height 400 pixels and width 400 pixels. Let's use magic to turn it into a circle. So let's set border, radius, you know, CSS is a type of magic, and set it to 50%. All four corners have border radius of 50%. And here's the most fun part. We now draw inside the moon itself. As I said before, we use box shadow. Now, by default, box shadow, box shadow by default, the shadow is on the outside of the element. We actually want an effect where we bring it inside the element. What we do is we add something called inset. This moves the box shadow inside the element, which is what we want. So let me show you next. That's right, inset. So the yellow moon is kind of inside the divider. And um, for the horizontal shadow, we'll set the value to 150 pixels. And we'll set the other pixel values all to 0. And the color we want the moon to be is yellow. So this is what it looks like in our browser. Ta-da! This is our finished project. As you can see, you don't see the black circle. You don't see the black circle at all. You just see the crescent moon, which is exactly the effect we want to create. You only see the yellow box shadow that represents the moon. Anyways, this about wraps up this video. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free, as usual, to let me know, and I'll see you next time.